Mad Magazine number 546, August 2017. The issue starts off with a cover lampooning Trump, Ivanka, and her husband, Jared Kushner, as Alfred E. Newman. Next up is the familiar Letters and Tomatoes promoting a mad homeschool, various celebrity tweets, and potty training. That's followed by the Trumpolini pages, mocking his potential forays into World War T, Trump Care, Sean Spicer's new TV show, and a Mitch McConnell dig. The Fundalini pages mocks Kendrick Lamar, Game of Thrones, School Cafeteria Yelp reviews, Bill O'Reilly's new book, and YouTube tutorials. Dick DeBartolo mocks Chris Hardwick's new show, The Wall, illustrated by Tom Richmond. It spans several crude jokes and culminates with a shot at, surprise, surprise, Trump and his potential Mexican wall. Charlie Caddow and Tom Bunk have a quick page with What's That Smell strip before the timeless Spy vs. Spy rap from Peter Cooper. There's a two-page make-your-own-anti-Trump rant mocking Rachel Maddow, Keith Olbermann, Bill Maher, and many other progressive hosts. That's followed by a four-page strip from Sergio Aragonis' mocking practical jokes before Scott Mako gives a send-up to Breitbart in the alt-right. There's a quick how-to guide for enjoying your parents' fights by Teresa Burns Parkhurst, a Kenny Keel-pinned Dewey Destroys the World, and a classic Mad Vault reprint paying homage to Elvis still being alive from 1989. Later in the issue is The Strip Club, a spread making fun of national parks and modern upgrades, a pretty good two-page spread mocking fake celebrity supermarket ads, and a quick dig at cookbooks. There's a pretty good Tim Carvel pinned piece making fun of the banal blogosphere, a tired but kind of funny run at Trump again, and a Kenny Keel written piece mocking various predictable pot stereotypes. The issue ends with a Mo Williams drawn gallery, and finally the patented mad fold in by Al Jaffe, with a final gaffe against Trump and his fake news. With that, this issue is finally concluded. You know, Mad Magazine is a classic, and every two months that it comes out, it never fails to deliver quick jokes and political takedowns. They've been famously roasted for the constant Donald Trump obsession, and as this issue proves, there's really no end in sight. As I'm always a sucker for political humor, why stop now? Still, I don't know if it's possible to include any more on one single person. Either way, the magazine is still funny and still stupid, just like it should be. I give this one an 8 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as tons of books for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.